what happens next? A lead magnet. Um, and this is kind of the traditional way when you think about marketing, right? You may have had, you know, some people call it a sales page or an opt-in page. And it used to be you could give away a free report or uh, some kind of information and people would be willing to give you an email address to get that little bit of information from you in whatever format it happened to be. You know, when I remember when I first started out, it's like sign up to my newsletter and people would be willing to give you an email address. That's few and far between now. People will give away their email address uh, in exchange just for a weekly, daily, or monthly newsletter. So giving a course away or a mini course is a really great way to have an exchange in value. And in fact, you remember you're purchasing someone's email address from them in exchange for that mini course. And uh, if you are going to be giving away a course, my suggestion is make sure that you understand whether it's a course or a mini course. We'll talk about that a little bit. What is the purpose of giving it away? Is it to get them to purchase the full course or a bigger course or other courses? Is it to capture their email addresses? Uh, is it to qualify them to say, hey, is this something that you're interested in or is this introduction to my solution something that's going to answer the question that you have? And at the end of the day, you know, it's going to have to be something that is uh, valuable to these end users to get them to raise their hand. So understand, am I marketing a course, a community, kind of the first step, second step? Am I going to use this course as a lead magnet? And what's the lead magnet for? Is it just to get them into the community to get started, to introduce yourself? Or is it an introduction to a bigger course? or more courses that complement what that uh, introduction is.